Hey guys, and before you watch this video, totally disregard what I said in the beginning of the video about a Black Ops 3 header. This is going to be a Black Ops 3 Zombies themed header. I will do the Black Ops 3 themed header secondly, and this will be my next upload on a tutorial series. So, definitely enjoy the tutorial. If you did, leave a like, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the video. Peace out. What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to give you guys a easy tutorial on how to create a Black Ops 3 header. So, uh, I pretty much, I think I've done a Black Ops 3 header before, but this is going to be a different kind of style. Right here is where we're going to be making a 2D style header for this, and I did this for my L7 uh, designer RC, but, you know, the odds are no one sees it, so, it's whatever. So, uh, this is actually pretty easy to make, there's not that many things to it, and it looks very clean later on. So, uh, you guys are going to want to go in the description, and you guys are going to want to download plenty of things, I think there's going to be a few, four or five things. It's going to be a social pack of all these icons a brush pack, some wallpapers, and you guys will need another brush right here. So, uh, it's not that many things to download, but it definitely will help you make these better. So, let's get right into it. So, what you want to do first is hop over to Black Ops 3 and search an image and find a nice size image. I put mine to 2 megapixels, so just I can find something easy to use. And uh, you guys can pretty much use anything you want. I'm going to be using some zombie stuff just because I've been playing zombies quite often now. And I'm just going to take this one. So uh, before I go on with this, I'm sorry about not uploading so frequently. I'll uh, I apologize on that one. I definitely will explain later on in the video what's going on and what's been happening, and also I'll explain a little more of what's going to happen. So uh, after you save your image, all you want to do is make your background black on your header size. My header size is 1500 by 500. If anybody wonders, and I'll just paste that in, and I'll make it smaller. So all you want to do is pretty much make it the same size as your your background and then make it black and white and then lower the opacity to about 16 maybe, actually maybe 18. So the next step you want to do is actually darken out a lot of spots as you see in this banner I did here I darkened out a lot of the edges so what I did is I just made a new layer took a big brush on a size about I want to say maybe almost 200. Maybe I'll go higher, maybe I'll go like 500, that's yeah, 500, that's yeah, probably a lot easier. And I just darkened out the side like this. Just try to make it even. So uh, after I do that, what I do is I make a new, another new layer and I use a white brush and I kind of like pull out highlights around the, uh, the header. And you can just do this. Maybe lower the background opacity some more. And then there's some other lights in here. So I can put another one right here. And lower the opacity. Just so it creates a nice little glare effect and a little grunge effect. So I'm going to right back to this. And you guys can see I have stuff in the background. So I'm going to add the background stocks first because it's probably the most important. So uh, the first thing I did is I went over here and I made a orange color. So I just took this pretty much this orange rectangle. And just made one on the bottom of my screen and I put it to soft light. Nope. Actually, yeah, I put it to soft light. Soft light, and then I just duplicated it, move it up, and then put it there. But uh it's a little too thick. Maybe a little smaller. Move it down. This one goes right about there. So I just have like a nice little effect over here. So the next thing I want to do is actually go to a file new and make a new image. Doesn't really matter what size it is. Make the background black if you can. Make a new layer and this is what the, the fun part's gonna happen. So what you want to do is just pretty much take your square and just make an orange square, whatever color square you want. Take the fill down to zero and go to blending options, stroke, and put a stroke on the inside of about six. So the next thing you want to do is hit the arrow, hit Control T, and then hold Shift and move it about 45 degrees. So this is when you can have fun. You guys can duplicate it, move on like right here, move on up here, down there. Maybe put one closer. Duplicate, make it smaller. So this is pretty much all I did. I did this uh, tutorial on this before. It's a uh, a stock tutorial if you guys want to go on my channel and find it and watch it it's pretty much all i'm doing is just duplicating this triangle over and over again and making stocks yeah i'll put the last one over here 
All right, so the next thing you want to do is pretty much take all of these and merge them together. Hit control E. Never mind. Hit control. I got it. Make a new layer above everything. Click the new layer and then click the bottom one hitting holding shift. Hit merge layers. And you're pretty much set. All you want to do now is just drag them in. And they might be a little too big. So you can just shrink them up a little bit. Shrink them down. Shrink them up. However you guys want to say it. Let's place it in the middle and put it to soft light. And you pretty much got your little background stocks. You can lower the opacity. Take a eraser if you'd like. I'm like a size about... 300 and just kind of click around you can duplicate it and then you can move it over here and then lower the or up the opacity just so it shows a little bit more and you pretty much got this going on i'm gonna actually darken this a little bit still so it doesn't show that much so going right back to this you guys can see i added extra things so what else i actually i added is i went to my stock pack and there's a oh where is it there's a orange sparks stock i just pretty much took this and just dried it straight into my header thing and just put it right about like here and then it went to screen did i go screen or soft light i think i went to screen i don't know i like i like messing with things with different settings definitely didn't do that all right i went to screen went to screen and then i pretty much just took my eraser and took out things put this above everything though there you go then you can take a bigger eraser about size Ooh, it's too big 500 and kind of erase parts and that's what else you can do is you can go back to it bring another one in and pretty much do the same thing put on screen Just like that. So the next thing you guys can do is go back to the stock pack and grab this orange light at, for textures. You pretty much just bring it in. I keep bringing it to the wrong one. I never work like this for some reason. And put it on screen as well and put it below everything except for the banner and lower the opacity. Just there's like little flares going on. You guys can even move it up here so there's a bit of orange tint to it. So you guys have something like this. So the next thing you guys want to do is add your grunge splatter. So if you go to Google and type in grunge brush, gr no, excuse me, grunge banner PNG, not PMG, PNG, you guys will find something. Here it is, right here. Take this, right click, save as. And just pretty much drag this in long one shocker and blending options color overlay and make it orange so while you're at it you guys can just pretty much move it wherever you want and put it above your pretty much gradient that you made and put it like this delete that bottom one you don't want that and put it on soft light oh wait excuse me merge these layers make a new layer merge them and then put it on soft light Not soft light. Which one is it? There's a bunch of settings on here that I honestly don't know what they do. Actually, you can just put it on normal and lower the opacity. So you can put one like right there, duplicate it, and flip it like 180 or something. And put it one right here. So you guys got that. So, well, this is going to be pretty much the portion where you guys can start going with your own way. Um, you guys can go back to the stock pack if you'd like. And there's definitely other stuff you can add. Um, there's uh, sparks. So you can pretty much just throw these in. Hit control U, make them orange. Put them on screen. I'm going to take these sparks away. Sparks are getting in my eyes. Haha, <laughs> get it? Jokes, funny, funny, not so funny, kind of stupid. All right, and that can go on. Fuck, that's screen. Yeah, back to screen. And then you're gonna just pretty much erase some of it. Maybe I'll add some sparks back. 
other places with that. All right, so this is pretty much we guys now. Nah, now you guys can start messing with things, and uh, you're pretty much not limited, or you are limited to what you can do on this. Um, you can't go too over stocky with this because it does look weird. But we're gonna start working with text now. So there's either one or two things you guys can do. You guys can work with a clean text. You guys can work with a sloppy text. This, since this is gonna be zombies, this is going to be sloppy. A lot of S's right there. So what I'm gonna do is hop over to defont.com and you guys can go to brush. And let's just type in my name. Actually, let's type in template. This is gonna be a template for you guys. So uh, you can pretty much scope around these and find a good one. Levi brush does look pretty swell. So I think I'm gonna be picking that one. So all you do is type in your thing. So I'm gonna type in I swear to God, I haven't used this brush before. <laughs> it's awesome. Is there a different one? No, that's it. And uh, you can pretty much type in your name, make sure it's not on all capitals, and put it in the middle. Actually, I'll name this the Black Ops 3 Zombies. Actually, no, this is Black Ops 3. Yeah, that's in the center. And then you guys can add a inner glow or a gradient. Uh, it's pretty much up to you how you do it. I'm just gonna add a simple like gradient that goes from like red to dark red. So after you're done with that, you guys can do other things with it. Like if you duplicate it, click the bottom one, make a new layer, and then merge these. Rasterize first, then merge. What you can do is make it white. Go to filter, blur, motion blur. Put a big motion blur on it and then go to soft light. So you have like a little darkened background around it that brings it out. So we're not done yet. This is where we can start adding other things. So what I'm gonna do is add some social links and I don't know if I even have a social link shirt or social link uh, pack. I believe I do, but I do not see it. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Boom. Chromium? The hell is that? Uh, maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't. So, uh, actually, yeah, I do. Take that back. <sighs> I gotta figure out where it is. Save. Nope. See, like, if you guys are new designers and you guys want to keep a clean, a clean thing, don't do what I do. <laughs> I literally make packs throw them in things and I don't know where I put them. I'm gonna use my social pack that I have. It's gonna be a download link in the description. So what I'm gonna do is throw on, let's just see, Twitch and Twitter, the first ones I grab. Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram and Google Plus, the first four. So, uh, actually I have, I have something to explain about Twitch too. So you can take these, you guys can put them wherever you want. What I would definitely recommend doing is like making them the same size as mine are. And then you can add gradients on all of them. See, but the only part about that is some are squares. So you need to find actual logos of that. So there's nothing we can really do about that. You can pretty much mess around with that. And you guys can definitely add your own uh, possess this. So the last thing we guys we can actually do is put some like blood splatters. Blood splatter PNG. Just take the first one. This is pretty nice. And then that sounds weird. It's nice blood. <laughs> you can take this, throw it in, and bring it to your header template. And kind of throw it like right here. And put this like right here. And you guys got your own banner. So you guys can definitely take this the way you, want, you guys want to. There's other things you guys can do. Like you can put a white square around your text like this. Put it on soft light, rasterize it, and go like this. Like that's what I did with my other thing, but it was a lot cleaner. But uh, there's definitely other things you guys can definitely do with this. Um, this is pretty much the basic of what you can do. So while I have this, I'm gonna throw. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw a social link on here and talk about it for a little bit. So I'm gonna throw this one on because this is what I've been doing. So let's throw this right here. So, uh, oh, it looks weird, right there. So uh, basically, I've started streaming guys and I only have about 76 followers right now. And 
I want to hit 100 before the weekend. It's the third right now, so I got about two days. So I definitely want to hit about 100. So if you guys can, definitely click on the annotation on the screen in the top right hand corner, go in the description, and follow me on Twitch. I stream Black Ops 3 Zombies a lot, and it's also Arena. And it's pretty much just a nice chill stream. I put on some music. If you guys have questions, I answer all of them that people ask. Um, everyone's really friendly in the chat, and I'm really, like, I guess, cooperative with everyone else. So uh, it's a, just a really chill stream to like, hang out with and I stream almost every day and it's a, a really cool thing to do. So while you guys are like doing this and like trying to follow me, what else I'm going to be doing with this stream other than just gaming is I'm going to be doing portfolio reviews probably once a week on this as well. I'm going to be doing designing stuff like live designs and stuff. So definitely it's worth giving it a follow because if I'm not streaming gaming, I'm streaming something else. So definitely come check it out. It'll be definitely worth your while and I'll definitely shout you guys out. So uh, just definitely go and check it out and follow me as much as I want to say it. I don't want to be one of those kids that just beg you, but it's definitely worth it as you're, if you're a designer, definitely. So uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing since I've had no time to upload. If you guys were wondering what else I'm doing, I've been really busy with school. I'm in two college courses right now, so obviously I'm getting hammered with work. And I was sick for a couple days, so I just had nothing else to do. So, well, uh, this is pretty much the end of the video. If you guys want this template, let's just say... Oh, what's my other video I have? Let's go based off my other video. I need that page. I need that page, too. Hmm. Totally did not make that. Totally made something else. I'm going to leave this Black Ops 3 Zombies template. Just because it's. I don't want to be missed, like, notified. And I'll do a regular Black Ops 1 later. So, uh... <sighs> what? Whatever. So, uh... 28 likes and 1 dislike. Let's go 30 likes. 30 likes on release the... Uh, what's it called? The uh, PSD for this. And I'll leave the annotation on the screen for it. So, uh, definitely, uh, definitely give this a like. Definitely check out my Twitch. And definitely just chill out. And have some fun designing. So if you're a designer, you need some help, message me on Skype, message me on Twitter. I usually answer my Twitter first. I'm not really a Skype person anymore. But definitely just check it out, and I'm here for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my new intro, let me know in the description below or the comments below. And I'll definitely say thank you, and I'll definitely talk to you about that. So this has been Garrett, and this is probably a tutorial that will take forever to do. <laughs> Peace out.